Hey y'all, how y'all doing? Welcome back to my channel, Divine and Gifted. What's up, what's up, what's up? I'm on a little work break. Okay, so um, I just came to do the uh, Healing Your Shadow Collective reading for day number three. Okay, look, and what are we working on? Look, let's see, let's see what comes out. Spiritual messages do you have for the collective? Working with our highest gift with our highest favor. Asking for messages full of unconditional love, light, healing, truth. Clarity and understanding. Also asking for high vibrational messages, please. That is a full and complete alignment with their soul's growth and highest good. Please protect our energy, our aura, our frequency, our soul family. Fill it with such the highest, brightest white light of them all. Surround us with protection, please. And thank you. Ashe, Ashe, Ashe. Okay. So that was quick health i had i i i seen this health card for three days now i've seen this health card okay i've seen this health card for three days someone is needing to pay attention to their health how are you taking care of yourself and i feel like this health card is also mentally how how is your mental health how is your mental health? What are the thoughts? What are what are the, what are you constantly thinking about? Have you been really taking the time to really nurture you with this patience card here at the bottom of the deck? Look, and this is the thoughts that I'm seeing. The fears. What are you afraid of? That's affecting your health. What aren't you, what aren't you releasing that's affecting your health? Like cuz you know when you don't when you hold on to certain feelings and emotions, they stay stuck in your body and they lie dormant and then they turn into some some type of illness. A lot of people are not necessarily ill, but they're hurt and they have never fully healed from it. Okay, so how how is this affecting you? With this health card it says I will honor my physical vessel that ensures that enshrines my soul. So what is it that you need to do? Why haven't you been as disciplined as you needed to be lately? Okay. What 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 parts can you do a detox? Some of you guys should do a detox, a little cleanse or something. You know what I'm saying? Um friendship is here and i also feel like some of you guys are needing to pay attention to your connections that you have with people that be that could be causing on added stress because this health card is stress is actually literally health some of you guys may need to take a trip to the doctor or something like that just to get like a little checkup empathy change okay no we're not getting into that okay because this is just a brief message um health in what ways how, how how have you added stress into your life in what ways do you need to relieve stress and then look the low self-esteem card is there in what ways do in what ways have have how you feel about yourself affected you on a personal level how is this health how is your health really being affected here again this could be mentally Maybe you feel mentally exhausted. Maybe you overthink. Maybe you overanalyze. Maybe you overassess situations. Analyze, assess, whatever. Um, maybe, maybe uh, you're constantly thinking of the past, and this is really bringing and weighing your energy down spiritually. Maybe you feel like you're lost spiritually. You don't know, and this really takes a toll on your health because you're not motivated. Lack of motivation is here. Um, mentally, spiritually, emotionally. Like, and I've just broke that down. Like, how is this energy affecting you on an emotional level? In what ways can you be more healthy mentally, physically, emotionally, and spiritually? In what ways can you start honoring your physical body? Some of you guys need a stretch. I just seen yoga poses. Some of you guys need a good stretch. Some of you guys need to do a deep breath, like about a good 10 of those every day. Just do 10 of them every day throughout the day. Um, just to release energy. And when I do that, I breathe in and I say, I inhale all positive energy. Um, and then when, on my exhale, I release all negative energy from my mind, my body, and my spirit. And I do that for like 10 breaths. Okay. And it actually really does help. But, um, cause I do want to get back into where our focus should be because that was just great yesterday. Even though I don't know where the cards is at. Here we go. Yeah, no, I'll never know. Okay, listen here. So. Um, um, 
where should their focus be when it comes? Where should their focus be? Some of you guys need to get out and get grounded. This health card is also too telling you that you're ungrounded, that you need to get out into nature, get outside into nature. That's what this is saying. What else? I mean, um, where should their focus be? Okay, that's just give me one, please. Thank you. Okay, this one just tried to come out. What if it isn't true? It says the thing you are telling yourself right now, this is what I'm saying, the health, this is mental health. How, how are you speaking to yourself? How do you feel about yourself? The things that you are telling yourself right now, the concrete reasons why you think you don't belong, you can't do it, you won't get there, you are not enough, or it's not for you. What if it wasn't true? Okay, it's time for a soul chat. Close your eyes, put your hands on your heart and ask the wise one within you. What if it wasn't true? What else might be possible? Journal your answers. What lie do I need to let go of to reach my soul's truth? And I like how each message, it, it piggybacks off of the one we did before. Because yesterday when I was telling you about the um, honesty, the truth card came out. And the truth card came out the day before. Okay? So what are, what is it that you're telling yourself? In what areas do you need healing? Why do you feel like you're not enough? Or do you question your worth? Or do you, like I said, do you give away your power? Okay? And giving away your power affects your health. It affects, it, what is your hygiene? What does your hygiene look like? How do you see? How do you feel? How do you think? Um, how do you take care of yourself on a day-to-day -day basis? This health card is reminding me of self-love. Have you been loving you properly? Okay? Um, and then let's see what we need to surrender to. Thank you. Surrender to spirit. Surrender to spirit. Once you've done everything you can do to achieve your goal, turn the situation over to the divine. Let spirit work its magic for you. And like I said, some of you guys are in this energy of overthinking. You get what I'm saying? And this is why your health is being affected. Not knowing how to really ground, ground and stabilize your energy and find your inner peace. Your inner peace, you're giving your energy away to so many different things. You have so much going on in your life to where you're really needing to take back, take a step back and really just breathe and say, you know what? Let me just give all this over to the divine. Can you take control? Can you take lead? Can, 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 can have your way. That's, that's the message have your way i give up i'm tired of trying i'm tired of force trying i'm tired of trying to force things in situations i'm tired of going against my own feeling my own healing i'm tired of going against my own thoughts my own emotions i'm tired of it and i just give it all to you divine i've been working so hard at this and it looks like i keep ending back up at the same place at the same time i keep every step forward i take i take two steps back and this is because and this is also because you haven't breaking free from that mentality oh every time i take a step forward i take two steps back stop saying that shit stop it just stop it stop saying it stop it okay um yeah this was a quick message awesome this was a quick quick message okay because i'm still trying to go eat my food so this was beautiful um and what's the best advice here six of pentacles and then this is the art of giving and receiving and sometimes you have to give away the negative energy the negative vibes the doubt the fear and the worry you have to give that away so new energy can come in and it can be replaced. Some, some of you guys are needing to learn how to transmute negative energy from out your life. And some of you guys are needing to, like I said, really pay attention to the relationships that you're keeping and see if you're giving too much, if they're not giving enough, if they're not doing, if they're not adding, if they're only subtracting. You get what I'm saying? Some of you guys are just needing to pay attention in that area. This card just, it just won't let me be great. It says, what passion am I ready to pursue? Some of you guys are needing to stop overthinking and start um, re-strategizing your plan. Your passions will continuously lead you to your purpose. What passions have you not, have you put, a, have, what passions have you put to the side, given up on, or buried? What passion is ready to come alive in you? 
write today's soul action. It says, write a list of passions to which you want to give life right now. Then journal how you can incorporate more of what you are passionate about into your daily life. Trust your soul's whispering and let your passions draw you towards your life dream. Okay? Period. So this is, like I said, some of you guys, this is you need to work on that solar plexus chakra. And the only way you can work on the solar plexus chakra is if you work on the sacral chakra. Where it, and, and that has a lot to do with where your fears are or what, what, what you're holding on to that you need to release and let go of so your energy can flow properly. And if you're going to work on those two, you might as well work on the root, okay? So the Six of Pentacles is here. It says gifts of money, time or effort, new career opportunities, recovering a loan, reco receiving a loan or paying off debts. Some of you guys are, um, I just feel like when I when I've read the paying off debts part, some of you guys are working through your karmic debt and now you guys are have worked through your karmic debt and now you guys are about to get an inflow of abundance from the divine. But you're needing to really fix your energy right now because it's like fix your, your thoughts, your how you, it's something. Yes, page of pentacles with the page of I mean um page of yeah, page of pentacles with the balance and then ten of pentacles this is that is exactly what I'm saying. You guys are needing to find balance and patience what's at the bottom of the deck and you need to have patience for what's yet to come. Okay? Have patience for what's yet to come. Okay? Have patience for what's yet to come. The need the need to um for balance and moderation, cooperation and compromise. And this cooperation and compromise goes in with the six of pentacles because the six of pentacles is about an equal give and take. And, and not only it, is this in relationships, but this is with the divine. Spirit is saying, give me your worries and I'll give you back something in return. And, and, and this something in return is going to be exactly what you asked for, but more. But I need you to get out of your own way and get out of my way and stop trying to control and focus on other things. Okay. The things you are telling yourself right now, the concrete reasons why you think you don't belong, you can't do it, you won't get there, you're not good enough, or it's not for you, or when is it going to be my time? Because some of you guys are asking, like, when is it going to be my time? Like, when is this going to start happening for me? And I've been doing the work, and I've been doing this. Spirit said, be patient. And continue to focus on your gifts, focus on your passions, continue to nurture and water other seeds that you have planted. So when it should start popping off, everything sprouts. You understand? The Ten of Pentacles was at the bottom of that, but the Three of Swords is there. And this is you needing to heal from this energy right here and fully release and let go with the Four of Pentacles, okay? So, um, I'm going to leave you guys there. Let me leave y'all with an angel answer. Hello. Thank you. That was quick. Ask help from others. Stop it. If you're going to ask help from others, let that be your spirit team, and then you have something better. Spirit is basically saying, stop asking help from others. Go to turn to your spirit team. You get what I'm saying? Or don't be afraid to ask for help. Um, for some of you guys, you guys are looking for advice, seeking advice. And no, don't do that. No, the you are your advice. You need to listen to your intuition. Start building that, that, that connection with yourself. For others of you guys, you guys are needing to learn and understand that asking for help and asking for guidance is there. Is there. Okay, something is better here. So this is basically saying that nothing is yet set in stone. Would we'll choose a new direction. It's time for you to go in a new direction. And because what you're working on, it just needs a break. Okay. Perfect timing. Thank you. Okay. We have unlikely here with we'll ask your angels. This is because you that you, it's on pause because you need to ask help from a, from your from your divine from your spirit team. Okay, so I'm gonna leave you guys there. Bye, loves. Peace.